Yeah, praise the Lord. So, yeah, we um, got back from the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio. We're just very thankful for what God has done there. As you can see, we uh, got open a great and effective door to surround the news station with the gospel signs. And that was a two-day work uh, of the event. We were there four days, but two of the days, uh, we were one of the main veins where th thousands of, of uh, lobbyists and um, politicians and uh, people were walking by. And they got to see the signs and hear the preaching. And while the news was on live, we had that station surrounded. And uh, it was seen worldwide for hours. And so what we have here is pictures from actual TV screens that were sent to us from brothers throughout the country in California and Washington on their own home TV screen. So you could see the impact of the Word of God on this station. This is a very liberal, uh, wicked news station as well. Um, the news anchors took gospel tracts as we preached them when they were done uh, speaking. Uh, numbers of them would actually receive the literature. So it was a real blessing to see that as well. Huge doors opened to preach uh, to thousands of police throughout uh, the time there from all over the country. They were reverent, and uh, we were told that there was a very strong presence there by one of the sergeants, and they were thankful for us being there. Uh, souls, we, thousands of tracks were received, and, and just God was magnified in power. So we got to do that, uh, that work in, in great measure, and the Lord blessed the work. So it was a huge answer to prayer, as you can see that, uh, what God has done, you know, from first getting thrown off an airplane in Vegas, coming to uh, the East Coast, and uh, this work alone here was fantastic. We lost some of the footage, uh, one of the SD cards of one of the brothers had dropped it, so we have uh, a lot of footage that was lost from a lot of the events back east. So we'll get what we have, and we just thank, uh, thank you for your prayers and, and your support uh, for the work that God did here. Yeah, while we were surrounded the news station, uh, the management would come down and beg us to move. They wanted to put on a good show. They did not want that word on there. They, they just they would plead with me, what, what, what can we give you? What can we offer you? Can, can you? can you please just go for a little bit? They were just pleading and to show that God had a great victory there. And they couldn't do it. They were powerless. Praise God. They were totally powerless. And so uh, bless the Lord for that word. Be born again. Repent and believe in the gospel. Jesus is coming again. Turn to the Lord Jesus.
don't apply to the United States of America necessarily, but we can see in other verses throughout Scripture when a nation forsakes the Lord God, even God's own people, he brought great judgment upon the land. But he continued to give a warning, and his those did not take heed of the warning. It was sudden destruction without remedy. It was terror upon the land. The land came in a great boredom and departed from the Lord. As we saw, that great wrath was poured out. And all the accounts are throughout the prophets of the Old Covenant. You can look through all the prophets, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, uh, Isaiah. We can look at Nahum. We can look at Obadiah, John, and Micah. These are all warnings of a holy God. And he says, uh, again, he says, Hear this now, O foolish people, without understanding, who have eyes, who have eyes and see not, and who have ears, and hear not. Do you not fear me, says the Lord? Will you not tremble at my presence? Will I place the sand as the bound of the sea? By a perpetual decree that cannot pass beyond it, and though its waves toss to and fro, they cannot prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over. But this people has a defiant and rebellious heart. They have revolted and departed. But do not say in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our God, who gives rain both the former and the latter in the season. He reserves for us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned these things away, and your sins have withheld good from you. For among my people have found wicked men. They lie in wait as one who sits snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so their houses are full of deceit. Therefore they have become great and grown rich. They are fat, they've grown fat, they are sleek. Yes, they surpass the deeds of the wicked. Shall I not punish them for these things? The prayers of Lord, shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? An astonishing and a horrible thing has been committed to the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests will run out power.
self-seeking and do not obey the truth and obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. Folks, the indictment of the human race is that everyone has exchanged the truth of God to lie and has worshipped and served the creature rather than the, than the creator. And the prophet Jeremiah, he cried out that day, he said, To whom shall I speak and give warning? That they may hear. He said, Indeed, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot give heed. Behold, the word of the Lord is a reproach to them. They have no delight in it. Folks, today we hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. The Lord God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. It is by grace that one is saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, so you should boast. Folks, it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to the mercy of God. He saves us for the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. And it is appointed for men once to die, but after this is the judgment. It's about the kingdom of God, that the king of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ, is coming again to reign on his throne in the new Jerusalem. And he's coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. There'll be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and expectation of those things which are happening upon the earth. Therefore, take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and the cares of this life, and the day of the Lord come upon you unexpectedly, for it will come as a snare upon all those who dwell on the face of the earth. Folks, before the second coming of Christ, the increase of fires will be in no time high. There will be murders and violence and deception and corruption. Because the wickedness of men will grow worse, worse and worse. And Matthew chapter 24, he says, Because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. There is lawlessness abounding in the land. Those who reject the law of the Lord of hosts and despise the word of the Holy One of Israel. Those who forsake the Lord will be consumed. And because we've forsaken the Lord, because we have despised His word, the wrath of God abides upon the land. Oh, He's turned His hand away. All day long, He's stretched out His hand to a disobedient and obstinate people, a defiant, rebellious people, like He did to His own people here. And God is drawing His people out, calling them out of darkness into His marvelous light. And the scripture says in 1 John, Oh, the back of the word of God by revelation. The first epistle of John, he says, God is light. And in him there's no darkness at all. He who says, I have fellowship of God and walks in darkness is a liar and does not practice the truth. He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. There is a big deception in the land today that those who say they believe in Jesus are saved. Oh, no, that is the case. But he says, you'll know them by their fruits. Oh, there are many false prophets will come in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are ravenous wolves. And those wolves come to the mouth of the sheep. But Jesus said, I'm the good shepherd. And the shepherd gives life to the sheep. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life. And then they may have it more abundantly. The abundant life is in Christ, not in the things of this world. The kingdom of God is at hand and will come as destruction from the Almighty. That's why the prophet Joel cried out, Well, for the day of the Lord is at hand and will come as destruction from the Almighty. Repent, turn to God, and do works fit with repentance. Repent, turn from all of your transgressions so that iniquity will not be ruined. Give glory to the Lord your God. Give glory to Yeshua, the Lord Jesus, your Savior, your King, your Messiah. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? Cry the psalmist as a prophecy of the Son of Man coming to reign. He says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together 
against the Lord and against this Christ. This may be angry, and you perish in a way when his wrath is kindled but a little. And other words, pay homage to the Son. Give glory to the Lord. Hold your allegiance to the King of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ. Just like they kissed the ring, the signet ring of the rulers. In those days, the emperors was the sign of allegiance. Those who were born again kissed the sun in the same way with their hearts. When their hearts cry out to God for repentance, when their hearts cry out to God in humility, they repent of their wicked ways, they repent of their anarchy against God, they repent of their defiance of God, they repent of their lawlessness and their insubordinance to the laws and the holy word of God. And when they do that, there is a radical change in the heart. The law was not made for a righteous person, but for the lawless and insubordinate. For the ungodly and for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for idolaters, for drunkards, and anything else that is contrary to sin. <laughs> Awake to righteous and do not sin. He says, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. The fear, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. It is by the fear of the Lord one departs from evil. Jeff and I cried out that great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hastens quickly. The noise of the day of the Lord is bitter. Then the mighty men shall cry out. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of devastation and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of trumpet and alarm against the fortified cities and against the high towers. I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they've sinned against the Lord. Their blood shall be poured out like dust, and their flesh like dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he will make speedy riddance of all those who dwell in the land. This is the rejoicing city that dwells securely. That is said in her heart, I am in the besides me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down? Everyone who passes by her shall hiss and shake his fist. Woe to her who is rebellious and polluted to the oppressing city. She has not obeyed his voice. She has not received correction. She has not trusted the Lord. She has not drawn near to her God. You have not drawn near to your God. You have not trusted the Lord. You have not submitted to his righteousness. Those outside of Christ that have covered with God under his fierce wrath. He says, do not fear him. There is a power to kill the body. And after that, there is no more that he can do. But he says, I'll show you who you should fear. Fear him who has a power to destroy the soul and body in hellfire. The eye is the body, and if the eye is good, the whole body will be full of light. But if the eye is bad, the whole body will be full of darkness. And oh, how great is that darkness. I will shake heaven and earth to close the Lord. I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I will destroy the strength. I will destroy the strength. He said, I will destroy the strength of the Gentile kingdom.
Jackson's on the phone, and she was at a meeting of Texas delegates this morning. Come to the Lord Jesus to be saved from sin. If you're the gospel track, come to Christ. Come to Jesus. Seek the Lord and live. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh. <laughs> Come to Jesus. Come to Christ. Seek the Lord. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Praise God. I saw it.